Good afternoon and welcome to the Masters University webinar. My name is Vanessa Haynes and I'm the admissions event manager here at TMU. We're so glad you can join us today. In just a few moments, we'll welcome our guests, Trisha Hewlett, Katie Pennington, and Christian Johnson. They'll be sharing with you about theater arts. A few logistical items before we begin. Please note that your camera and microphone are turned off at this time. We do thank you in advance for your patience as we make the best use of technology. If you happen to get logged out, please use that original link sent in your confirmation email that will allow you to log back in. Know that we are recording this session and we'll make that available to you as soon as possible. And lastly, we would love to hear from you. So please go ahead and make use of that Q&A box at the bottom middle of your screen. At any time you can post questions in there and towards the end of the session, we'll be happy to answer them. Well, allow me to introduce our guests. Trisha Hewlett is the Director of Theater Arts at TMU. She received her MA and BA degrees in Biblical Counseling from the Master's College. She's also an ACBC Certified Counselor. She first began directing theater in 2003 for a Christian high school, and then late, later went on to revive the theater arts program at the Master's University in 2008. She's performed over a dozen roles and has directed and produced more than 20 full-length plays and musicals. Trisha and her husband, Dave, uh, who is a dean here at TMU, met as students and counted a joy to have served together in student ministry since 2002. Katie Pennington is a senior majoring in communication. She's been involved in TMU Theater Arts since her freshman year and has been so grateful for the opportunity to pursue excellent art for the glory of God. Christian Johnson is a senior communication major with an emphasis in cinema. During his time as a student, he has been a part of six productions with TMU Theater Arts. He appreciates the program for its focus on using art to love God and love others. Well, welcome to you all. Thank you so much for joining us. Tricia, I think we'll just go ahead and start with you. If you could just start us off uh, with talking about what, what is theater arts? Oh man, theater um, here at Masters is just a really special program. Um, we're really thankful to have it. Um, it is a unique art form that we uh, love being able to share with both audiences and students alike. Um, it's, it's special because you're not just, you know, sitting in front of a screen interacting with people, though we're doing a lot of that these days, but um, it's a conversation between audiences and actors. Um, it's every time you're in front of that, that audience, it's unique and it's different. Um, it's a different performance with each group of people. Um, it's something that gets to reflect um, real human stories and um, our students get a chance to really pursue um, learning a biblical philosophy of, of performing arts, just like everything at Masters where you know we believe in the authority and sufficiency of scripture in all things. Um, uh, we get to pursue that in, in performing arts in theater here at Masters too. It's a, it's a co-curricular program that's designed to function alongside any major at Masters um, where we get to train um, in the expression of acting um, alongside all the other pr production elements, you know, whether it's running lights, set building, all kinds of other things. Um, the students though are learning to be a team function as a unified group and tell one story. Um, and even more than that though, they're learning how, you know, an art form that's even generally as self-centered and as narcissistic as acting in theater most often is, it, it must be redeemed and done in a way that's different and biblical. And so here at Masters, um, they're, they're getting an opportunity to to do that, that it's, and to learn that it's not about them and the limelight and the glory, but it's about the Lord and getting to, to function as, as one unified group and give a good gift to the audience. And we get to work that out all semester while we play. It's really fun. That's great. You know what, Trisha, I remember years ago now, I joined your team. I think I was doing hair. And that's right. <laughs> yeah. And I was blown away by how godly your, your students were and your staff. I just, I think it was just like, I was doing hair and I just looked around me and I thought, this is such an encouraging environment. I can't believe how well Trisha um, weaves biblical principles and uh, service and joy into the Lord in 
in a very hectic environment sometimes. It was beautiful. Mm-hmm. It stuck with me. That was 2011. So that was a long time ago. <laughs> with me. That impression was very, yeah, I am very grateful for that. It was um, so fun to have you. <laughs> so can you talk about why we do theater arts? Yeah, you know, I think it's really important. Um, like I said, when we're here studying all these different things, whether it's math or business or communication or music, um, we're learning how to pursue a vocation and, and influence the world in whatever area the Lord is going to take these students into um, and field that God calls. And many, many people um, are going to be called to use art and, and its various capacities. And some of those things are performing arts. And so we need to know how do we engage in this field um, in a way that honors and glorifies the Lord, whether, whether you're going to do that forever um, and you're going to teach or you want to engage in that in the community, or maybe you want to go be a part of that as a career. Um, we want to give you a hands-on way to work that out as a student here at Masters. Or maybe um, while you're studying something, you, you want an artistic outlet and you want to keep, um, you want an opportunity to tell beautiful stories that touch people, that engage our audience. It's also a really neat way to en- engage our community. People come from all over the LA area to our campus. What an amazing platform that we have to engage our communities and, and give them an excellent gift and let them know who we are as the Masters University. And we get to, to have fun doing that. Um, And we read this one article that's called Theater as an Imperfect Mirror. And the premise behind it is that when we tell these stories, we're putting up a mirror. It's imperfect, yes, but it's a mirror of real life that connects with people. And that's ultimately what theater is. It's it's, it's showing people a a picture of, of life and it lets them sit back and maybe they'll laugh and have a wonderful evening with us, or maybe they'll reflect on something and and think uh, about life from a different perspective. And then afterwards we get to talk with them. So there's that aspect with the audience, but then throughout the process, as we, as we get to that ultimate product, we learn so much about ourselves, about how do we engage in that? Who are we to be as believers in pursuing this art form um, as we minister to one another as brothers and sisters in Christ? What parts of this art do we engage in? How do we do it? And then how do we take that with us after, mm-hmm. after we're students? So there's so many ways to do it. And it's really fun in the process. So mm-hmm. that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, maybe you could talk about um, who is this program, this outlet for? Who can engage? There's a number of majors on campus. Can anybody yeah. do it? Or is it more designed for a specific major? Yeah, absolutely. It's open to any traditional master's undergrad student, um, no matter what your major is, what your discipline is, and no matter what year you are. And that is something that's unique to our program. A lot of times in programs like this, there's kind of a hierarchy you have to work through to get into a program like this. And ours, ours is not designed that way. A freshman has just as much opportunity to get into, get into it as a senior. Um, whether that's on the crew or in the cast, depending on um, you know, what the show is, what the openings are, but um, auditions and applications are open to anybody each semester. And um, it is designed to function that way where you can come in and out each semester, depending on what your load is, um, what your openings are and, and what you have available. Um, and you can have repeating credits in theater arts or theater production as you go through your time here at Masters. So we want it to work in conjunction with your majors. And there's other classes that you can take too. I also teach stage training classes and other production related courses. Um, And there's other classes and other majors that you can take if you're interested in, in the acting or the production sides of things. But that's how this particular program works. Great, thank you for answering that question. It's good to know anybody can get involved. Um, Speaking of freshmen getting involved right away, Katie, you got involved in your freshman year, didn't you? I did. I came in as a freshman and my first semester I chose 
not to do the theater program. And then I came to the production in the fall and fell in love. Just the excellence of the production. I got to talk with the people afterwards and they talked about what an amazing community it was. So I auditioned for the spring show of my freshman year and was in that one. Great. Very great. What opportunities do you, would you say that students have to get involved? Oh my goodness. The possibilities are kind of endless. There's so many different facets to this art form, whether you prefer acting and feel like you're really gifted there, whether you're into technology and you wanna do the audio, that kind of aspect. If you're really creative and you enjoy hair and makeup, or you wanna work with costumes or props, there's so many different areas that you can work on. Maybe you feel gifted in a certain area, or maybe you want to learn more about something else. This is a really great sort of hands-on way to learn brand new skills that you are interested in and it's also a great chance to meet people from other majors other interests that maybe if you're just walking around campus you wouldn't get to interact with and here you build real lifelong friendships what have been some of your favorite uh, things that you've been involved in over the years um in theater oh my goodness the show that really stands out to me was last spring sabrina um, I got to be a crew lead for the house and hospitality crew. So I got to really get to know everyone who is in the production, both on the cast and crew side, as well as all of the people who got to come to the show. So I got to interact and see how the cast was doing and the crew was doing before each show. But then I got to talk with the people who came to see the show before it happened, during intermission, and just hearing their stories and where they're coming from and what brought them to come see the show and how the show was impacting them. People were just so willing to share and open up and it formed a lot of really sweet moments of bonding with people who were total strangers mm -hmm. and just seeing what the program really means to the people who come see it, because that's why we do it, is for them, so. Very sweet, thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. I think just a final question for you, um, what are some, some ways you think you've grown as you've partaken in all these different opportunities. I'm sure they've been stretching. I mean, getting up in front of a crowd is, uh, as a freshman for the first time is a little bit intimidating, right? And I'm sure there's a host of other things that have happened that maybe you were, you were a bit nervous going in, maybe you didn't have the skill set, but now you do. And can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, theater has been one of the most growing experiences of my life in so many of the best ways. I think as a freshman getting up on stage, it's terrifying, but it's so good. And it's so encouraging to realize that you can do things that you never thought you could do. And I think what I most appreciated about being on cast was Trisha's emphasis on doing it to serve other people, learning to cultivate this gift and to quell the fear of man so that you can serve people. That it's not about making yourself look good it's about telling a story to bless people who come and to bless the people who are in the program. Mm -hmm. um, I think on crew, I learned a lot about being responsible and figuring things out, problem solving on the spot. I mean, the pressure's on and there's no going back and you're faced with something you did not expect and you think, okay, so we're here now, what can we do? And you figure it out right then and there. But I think the most growth I saw in my time in theater was honestly spiritually. Um, Trisha uses theater as a means of learning about what it looks like to follow Jesus Christ and to live every moment with your eyes on him and your eyes on other people to see how to serve them. And that's something I learned a lot of, I think I came in to the program as a freshman with a lot of pride that I didn't even know I had. And I learned so much about what it means to, to think about the practical living out of a Christ-like life when you're tired or when you're busy or when you have a lot on you or when you're in a situation that's stretching you. Um, and to be constantly thinking, okay, how can I glorify Jesus right now where I am? And then how can I serve others instead of seeking to be served? 
That's sweet. Thank you for sharing. That's encouraging. And definitely I can testify to seeing that both in Trisha and the people, the students and the workers there. All right, Christian, um, just a question for you. Why did you want to become involved in theater and arts? Well, uh, I was interested in filmmaking and so I was already interested in acting and that sort of thing and just wanted to have a chance to be creative. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. In what ways have you been able to uh, fulfill that that desire to be creative? What are, what are some of the things you've been involved in over the years? Well, uh, for a couple of shows, I got to be on the um, audio video team. So we got to make commercials and things like that, which was directly applicable to uh, my career. Uh, for three shows, I got to be on cast and uh, act and have a whole lot of fun with that. And one show, I was part of the lighting crew. And that was also a very great learning experience. That's great. So through those experiences, what do you think? Um, do you think that your initial direction has remained the same? Or do you think that it's kind of morphed into different, different avenues over the years? Oh, it's uh, most certainly morphed. Mm -hmm. um, when I first came to TMU Theater, I was um, much quieter uh, and very shy and lacked a lot of confidence. And through, um, well, through auditioning and acting, I, I gained a lot of confidence and learned I had skills I didn't expect. Um, and so, yeah, it's definitely changed a lot of my career plans. <laughs> Any, do we get a hint of where you might be going in the future with, with the skill set with this education or is that kind of still to be decided? Well, I'm still interested in film, but I'm more open to different aspects. I was more interested in just writing and kind of staying behind the scenes. And uh, now I'm more interested definitely in, in performing aspects of it, but I don't know myself where that'll end up. Okay. Great, thank you for sharing. Um, Katie, just back to you, maybe you could, actually both Katie and uh, Christian, maybe you could both just give a quick encouragement to prospective students who are um, thinking of coming to show us, thinking of joining the program when they, they get here, regardless of their major, or if it, if it aligns with their major. What are some things you would say to them? Well, uh, one thing I'd say is, you know, regardless of whether you're wanting to go into an artistic field or not, um, the student community in theater is wonderful. Um, a lot of my closest friends are from that, uh, from those experiences. And it's been really great to grow with people through different shows and you get really close to them by working together and um, spiritually growing together. And so I, I'd encourage people regardless of what they wanna do to join theater for that reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would echo that and say, there's so many ways to grow in theater and so many relationships to be made and so many lifelong memories to make and lessons to learn that I would encourage whatever you're interested in doing, um, whatever your major is or whatever your interests or you feel your skill sets are, just try it, just join it and um, meet the people, learn how to do all sorts of things. And even if you decide maybe not to join theater, I would say, come see the shows, at least support in that way. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, the shows, I mean, they sell out pretty quick. They're very popular. It's a ton of fun. Every time they come up, everyone's scrambling to get tickets. They're always excellent. Trisha, it's probably a joy for you to hear from a couple of your students, hey? Um, <laughs> what, are some, what are some things you've seen students carry, carry on and out with them as they graduate? Oh, man. You know, each day when I'm in my office, I stare at a wall of posters. <laughs> from each show that are signed by all the cast and crew from every show. And each one is just full of memories. You know, every name has so many memories of things that God has done. And when you ask a question like that, I think of so many different things. There's, there's so many stories of how the Lord has taken people on and used them in so many different capacities and facets. Um, one story that comes to mind is there's this, a student a few years ago, her name is Hannah. And she came to Masters. I didn't know this at the time, but she came to Masters wanting to be a part of the theater program. And she auditioned. She's a great performer, great performer. Auditioned and didn't get in the show. And, um, but she applied for crew at the same time and got into the crew. And she was so excited to be a part of the program in any capacity. I had no idea how disappointed she was or wasn't in not getting a role. And she just dove into crew and she thrived. I mean, she just took off and developed some amazing skill sets 
and um, kept auditioning, did amazing. I mean, kept growing as a performer, um, but really, really thrived on the crew. By her junior year, she was our stage manager. I mean, she, which is, which is no, no small task and was an incredible stage manager. Senior year, we did Fiddler on the Roof and she auditioned again. And I mean, it was her show. She got Golda and Fiddler on the Roof around here has, is like the stuff of legends. Uh, the, the Lord just did some amazing things with that show. It sold out all six shows in advance. We added a seventh show. It sold out in advance. I mean, it was amazing. She was incredible. Like I said, she was an incredible performer, but this whole time up until her senior year, she had been on crew. And uh, then she finally got this performance opportunity. When she graduated, she went back home, got a job at the Alaska Youth Theater and as a, I think a stage manager, anyways, worked through all of this. She ended up becoming the executive director of the Alaska Youth Theater. And she tells me all the story afterwards that she got that job, had all these amazing opportunities of directing this theater, all these shows, impacting all of these students because she had been on crew. And it hadn't like been her initial thought, but she had dived into the program, loved it, performed and crew. You know, God used it in all these ways that she, maybe she hadn't you know, initially thought, but her attitude had been so incredible. She was so a part of the program in every facet she could get her hands on. Um, and, and she just came out of the program, such a well-rounded performer. In, in every aspect and a producer. And she could have never planned that, but then God used it in this incredible way in her life journey career. And she was just used mightily. You know, that's one story, um, but there's, but there's so many others um, and the way God has used it. We laugh a lot until our makeup comes off. Literally, <laughs> Katie and Christian could attest to that. Um, but there's also stories of just, you know, so much spiritual growth in the midst, sitting on the stage after a really long dress rehearsal, we're all sitting on the set, you know, talking about how God is growing us as believers and, and students, you know, they're putting themselves out there telling these stories and we're talking about life and identity and, um, who they're becoming as believers through these art forms. And, oh man, there's nothing like it. It's so incredibly fun. I'm just so grateful for the opportunity and look forward to whoever the Lord brings us in this next season, so. Very sweet. I'm gonna continue with a couple of questions myself, but just a, a reminder to our guests, if you do have questions, please do type them in the q and I'll start to answer those um, soon here. Uh, Trisha, just to comment on some of the things you were saying, it, it does seem that everyone who gets involved, um, even if they're hesitant at first or nervous, they just love it. They just, every aspect of it. And it's an encouragement to see um, them thrive and, and grow. So hmm. very thankful for your leadership there. Um, you know what, you talked about Fiddler on the Roof um, and how, how wonderful a production that was. Maybe could you just share with us something that really, um, a production that was special to you personally? <laughs> sure. Um, it's hard to pick. I think all of them have, have something very special about them. Um, we're heading into our 14th year of the, of the, um, since the program's revival. Um, we do uh, a musical every other year. And so there's, and then a play the other times. Um, it's hard to pick one, uh, but I think maybe the one that just stands out really quickly in my mind is a show called Over the River and Through the Woods. Um, maybe the reason it stands out in my mind is um, it's a story about uh, a grandson and his four elderly Italian grandparents. <laughs> and um, oh, I we we've done it twice and the last time we did it, uh, I think was, I don't know, Katie and Christian could tell me maybe three years ago, two, two three, three years ago. Mm -hmm. And I think, is that right, you guys? Um, yeah. 
Um, and I think the reason it stands out is because it is a show that made people just laugh until their stomachs hurt. They, you know, at intermission, they just could barely stand up. But then in the second half, um, the realities of life, it, it made people, when they came out at the end, were crying and audience members were grabbing me, were grabbing the cast members and the crew members and asking us, how do you think through life? Because the story is about this grandson and how, is he, how does he think through whether he leaves his family to pursue his job and his career dreams or whether he doesn't, and what does he value in life? And you know, how many times are we thinking through those things ourselves and how do we make those decisions? And I love the way that um, art and art form like that has the ability to help make us think. And then that we were there to be able to, you know, talk with an audience, but then boy, the conversations we had with the cast and crew all semester about that. Kids were calling their grandparents and their moms and dads and talking to each other and we're sorting through, you know, issues of identity and direction in life and how do we prioritize those things ourselves and while we're belly laughing. I mean, it was quite an emotional semester, but in the best way possible and, and we laughed and cried the whole time and the relationships built. It was just six, six cast members. Um, it was, it was something. So that that's one of them, but there's so many, I, every single one, 39 steps is the other one. Christian was in that one. There was also six of them. <laughs> and um, Christian was one of um, those cast members and they played upwards of 50 to a hundred different characters changing back and forth on stage. And it was an absolute riot. It was fabulous. It was like an Alfred Hitchcock mystery. So that was a highlight as well. <laughs> Sounds amazing. All right, just a couple of questions that we have here. Um, what is the audition process for the shows? And then actually a two part, I guess, how many times a week? What can a person expect if they do get on? Uh, what kind of commitment how, how often are rehearsals? What's kind of the, the time commitment there? Well, okay, I'll tell you what I expect as a director. And then I'd like Katie and Christian to tell what it's like from a, a student perspective, if that's okay. Great idea. Okay, so audition process, um, it's different whether it's a musical or a straight play, but in general for the acting auditions, they're cold reads. And I do this because I want everybody to be on equal footing whether you're coming in as a freshman or you've done four shows with us before. So I um, will we'll post what the show is gonna be and then when the auditions are and um, you sign up for a slot and you come in and you'll read with me and my assistant director. Um, we'll give you a script and just go. Um, I really appreciate and value um, conversationalism and believability. I don't want something that's over acty um, because I want an audience to forget that they're watching a play. I really want them to just be able to feel like they're looking through a window into the life of the characters. So I want it to be believable um, and not really stagey. So that's what I'm going for in an audition. Um, and Katie and Christian, before I answer what rehearsals are like and the commitment, what do you guys feel like that process is like to audition with us? Honestly, I think the audition process is surprisingly fun. At other places that I've auditioned at, I felt a sort of harsh or maybe judgmental atmosphere and you get really nervous. But I know so many people who love to come in and audition with Trisha and the assistant director. It's just a really sweet time when you walk in everybody's cheering everybody else on and helping each other kind of look over the script before they go in. And whenever you come out of an audition, everybody applauds and tells you they know you did great. Um, and it's just a really fun time for uh, you to get to know Trisha and for her to kind of get to know you. So I would say, don't be frightened. Don't be intimidated by it. Just go in and do it. You'll have fun. Yeah, it's a very laid back uh, time and it's it is very enjoyable. Also, um, callbacks are really fun too because um, Trisha tries to 
create an atmosphere where we're all encouraging each other and uh, instead of competing against one another we're rooting for the best show and so uh, when you go back even if you don't make cast it's still a really fun experience it's more fun when you make cast but it's still great <laughs> Yeah, it, of course, when we, you, if you're auditioning, of course you want to get in, but um, we do try to help you remember from the get-go that, you know, we have to believe in, if, if you believe that the Lord is sovereign, which he is, whether you believe it or not, but if you believe the Lord is sovereign, then that he, he knows where he wants you that semester. So um, let's start from the audition process that if he wants you in this show, you'll be there. So that should free you up to do your best and to root for other people to do their best. So it's not that it's a casual environment that I don't want you to give your best and to work hard at it, but I am believing in you and I, and I want to pull out the best in you to the best of my ability. I don't want to intimidate you into doing horrible. So um, we try to encourage that. Um, and for a musical, um, like I said, we do those every other year. Oh boy, they're fun and they're a whole different beast. Um, and when that happens, uh, we would, this last semester, um, we would let you prepare a musical theater song of your choice and that you feel like best um, displays your strengths and bring that in and sing it for us in addition to the cold read. So that's how that works for musicals. Um, the rehearsal process, uh, rehearsals are twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays from seven to 10.30 usually. And then um, about two, every other Thursday, there's an extra rehearsal that we add in there um, because we always produce our shows um, just after the midpoint of the semester. So if it's in the fall, we go right after fall break. And if it's in the spring, we're performing right after spring break. So. We, we get in there and get it done. Uh, so those, that's the rehearsal commitment. When you're in the cast, when you're in the crew, um, the process is just a little bit different. Um, each crew um, has, a, has a student leader and each person is assigned a crew and those crews um, will come not to every single rehearsal, um, but they have a minimum requirement each week and then their crews meet outside of that. Um, and then you come for the build right after either fall break or spring break. And then we all build together and set it all up and then um, go into production. It's pretty awesome. It's fun. Sounds great. Thank you. Just a couple more questions before we wrap up. Um, you obviously have a plethora of majors that join. What are the more common majors that you see come across uh, this program? You know, it's pretty spread out. Honestly, the last few years, I think we have had every single major represented um, in the 45 or 50 people that we have in the program each semester. But I would say the, the two to three strong, um, not strongest, the majority, we have mostly, the biggest number we have represented are comm majors, uh, music majors, and business majors, I think. Um, are the, the three biggest groups that we have. Um, but we really have had every major, I think, represented the last couple of years, which is really fun. That is you fun. meet people in the program that literally, you probably never would have met otherwise. Every, every semester, the students say that, which is really, really fun. So fun, such a dynamic environment. Well, I think just a last question for, for you, Tricia. Uh, Christian and Katie answered this, but what encouragement would you give to prospective students considering joining? You know, if you are interested at all in any aspect, I would say consider doing it. Put in an application or consider auditioning. Um, it is a great way to uh, meet people, find a group to get plugged in with while you're on campus or getting used to campus, um, to be a part of, to work on a project together, have something that you're doing tangibly with people. And you know what, if, if you don't, if, if there's not room the first semester or whatever, try again the next semester. It's not as though if you don't get in the first time, you can't try again the next semester. 
that's just not how it works. So if you're interested at all, um, shoot us an email um, at theater at masters.edu um, or follow us on Instagram or Facebook so you can get an idea. But I would try it if you're interested at all. Um, it's just a great way to be a part of something on our campus. Um, or like Katie said, she didn't do it her first semester, but she did her second and she hasn't turned back since. So uh, we just try to make it really accessible for you guys if you're at all interested. So. Well, thank you so much. You certainly gave us a taste of what that that looks like, joining that, what the our life would look like if uh, we had that opportunity. It sounds like a blast, every aspect of it. So um, thank you, Tricia, Katie, and Christian for joining us and spending a, your afternoon with us. Thank you to our guests for joining us. We hope that this time has been helpful and informative for you. We would love to hear from you. So uh, please continue to reach out. You can contact our admissions department with additional questions. You can also find more information at masters.edu. And um, if you're looking for more information, even just outside of the topic of theater arts, please uh, look for more webinars. They'll be coming your way um, tomorrow and then some more next week. So uh, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you for joining us.